mic check. Is this thing on? Hey y'all, it's Chrissy. Welcome back to my channel. First and foremost, I just want to apologize. I don't have an intro to my video. I'm doing a Timu review, but when I started editing, I noticed that the beginning of the footage got deleted. So the intro to my video is not there. So if you see that it just starts off in the middle of me talking, that's why. But other than that, I hope you guys enjoy the video. I actually found some items that were okay. This was my first time buying from Timu. So yeah, just bear with me and enjoy the video. Thank you. I've never ordered anything from Timu before. If you're not familiar with Timu, Timu is like a ass production company like AliExpress, Alibaba, um, Shein, 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 whatever you want to call it. Yeah. Those three companies are like pretty much cuz sisters and cousin companies where they sell everything wigs beauty supplies art supplies house um, appliances clothing pet supplies electronics anything you can make you could think of they sell so I'm like you know what I've ordered from AliExpress before I've ordered hair from there I've ordered clothes from Shein of course who hasn't I mean maybe some people haven't but you know I have but I never ordered from Timu so I'm like you know what I don't know if I should order from there but what made me want to order is I was on there I was on there and I had wanted one thing over there one thing I wanted one thing and then i just started losing my mind of course i was skeptical at first like all right christina you're gonna buy this stuff and you're gonna be mad so you gotta try lightly so i'm like all right you know i'm about a few items maybe i'll like buy like five or six items see how that works out and then i'll decide if i want to buy again honestly i was pretty surprised about what i got but i didn't go crazy i wanted this thing here first Hold on guys, my phone. Let me just silence my phone for a second. So the first thing I got from Timo was this um silverware divider, silverware um organizer because I need somewhere to put my silverware because my cabinet space, I don't have a lot of cabinet space in the drawer where you put the silverware is very narrow just like this and i found this so i'm like you know what let me get it and see if it fits i haven't even seen if it fits inside of my drawer or not but i know the the width of it it fits i just don't know about the length so we're gonna see it has like a little symbol the forks and a spoon so you just separate it like that I'm not even sure what these two slots are for, I guess, for whatever you want to put in it or not. But the quality is pretty good. It's made out of strong, like, plastic. I can't see it really breaking because it's going inside your drawer. You're not really taking it out. You can take it out and, like, you know, kind of shake it out in case, like, stuff. You know how sometimes you don't know how crumbs get inside of your drawer but it does so you can like kind of like dust the crumbs out wash it with soap and water dry it and put it back in doesn't look that bad to me i'm not sure i did looking at it on the picture online it did look like it was rubber i don't know why i thought it was rubber but that that was what was in my brain i'm like oh it's it's like some type of like rubbery um Thing, but it's actually hard plastic and it's not cheap it's not like flimsy plastic either so that was cool so i'm gonna put that inside of my um i'm gonna put that inside of my drawer and then see if it fits moving on to the next the next item that i have was a trench coat this trench coat here is a size medium and i'm gonna try to get the links I'm gonna try to get the actual link to the actual item down in my description box. That takes a lot of work, but I'm gonna try to do it. I'm gonna make an attempt to do it. Um, so it's this trench coat, size medium. The quality of it is not the best, 
but it's not the worst either. So I could actually see myself getting a few wears out of this. Like if you look inside, it's like, I don't know, this material, this thin satin material, but it's not paper thin. Like even the material, the, the second um, layered material, this material is not too thin. I'm gonna try to put an overlay video of me actually trying the stuff on but it is actually not bad the buttons i would say aren't the best quality they're plastic and it's not like a hard plastic so if it breaks you might have to either replace the buttons or just throw it out if anything i would say you could replace it with like more quality like buttons and straps to go in it i do like that it has these straps at the bottom it has these like belts at the wrist it has these buttons they're not the best but they still look cute and then it has like the detail on the shoulders it has like the buttons at the shoulders and then it has like the little cape in the back if you could see it it has like a little cape in the back and the fit is actually true to size um, I'm glad I got a medium because if I got a large, it probably would have been too big. I could still wear a hoodie under it, but not too thick and kind of like layer it like that. You do have to steam the jacket because when it comes, it's like kind of wrinkled. Yeah, so you're going to have to steam that. But other than that, I forgot how much it cost. I think it was like $30. So I feel for $30, that was not a bad purchase at all it's reasonable it's you know it's very affordable and it's not like the quality is not terrible so the next one i am going to talk about which is this black trench coat which i'm very surprised this is like my most like shocking purchase from timu especially for it to be my first purchase um, or faux leather trench um i'm gonna tell you right now i'm very surprised at the quality and the feel of this trench coat it's very heavy like it's not like thin it smells like a little pleathery like it smells a little pleathery like pleather not leather but it it doesn't stink like once you spray your perfume and you like steam out the inside and stuff like that it won't the, the smell will probably go away so i'm not really worried about that i will say i got a size medium but the medium was a little big so i would say if you are a medium get a small and if you're a large get a medium if that makes sense so i could have got a small in this jacket but i got a medium because you know it's an asian company and i didn't know sometimes the sizes and Asia run very small, like in China and stuff like that. Their sizes are small. So you'll sit there and get a small, but their smalls are like extra small. So I didn't want to do that because I got the wrong size. The quality of it isn't cheap at all. Like I could actually see myself pulling a few looks with this, putting this on with a few dresses and outfits or whatever and some high heel, you know, thigh high boots or something like that or even some ankle boots or some regular heels i could even put some sneakers on with this um if you want you can really style it how you want i do like how it has this nostalgic um feel like it reminds me of like the jackets that our moms used to wear in the 80s like the long leather trench but those was leather like that wasn't pleather those jackets used to be leather yeah so i am not mad at that purchase at all i think the the leather the the faux leather jacket was 40 dollars. i'm not like mistaken that was 40 dollars. and i looked at the price tag and i was like christina chrissy you paid 40 dollars on timu come on 40 dollars but i wasn't think i just saw the jacket and because i already had stuff in my cart and when i seen the um the total it still wasn't a lot of money i'm just like let me check out or whatever um so i just bought the jacket and i'm actually happy with the purchase because it's really nice you know so i was surprised with that and i also got this leather 
um hat to go with it i don't know if i'm gonna wear it i'm gonna try to put it on the other snippet of me having the jacket on i don't know how i'm gonna like the hat i don't i don't know how to feel about it it did look cute online but it's actually really big and it's one size fits all so if you put it on you got a little peanut head like me i don't think it's gonna fit like i had mad space on the sides of my head and i i didn't even record i should have recorded myself with it on my head without my wig on but if you have a wig on it should be good because you know that puts an extra like layer on your head so it takes up a little bit of space inside of the the hat so i'm gonna try it on with the wig and see how i like it i don't know if i'm gonna like it or toss it who knows okay i have one thing to say you have to be careful how you wear this because it will give blade blade trinity you know wesley snipes blade the vampire movie um yeah if you wear it right you won't look like blade also the hat you can this can look cute but it can go left and you could look like older than you want to look or like mary poppins or something so i i don't know if i'm gonna wear the hat it doesn't look horrible but i'm not completely sold on the look either i'm gonna see like how i could you know if you know what i mean i'm gonna see how i look in the picture or if it, it's even worth me having both of the items on at the same time or even wearing this hat to begin with because like i said it's not it's too big and i can't wear it unless i have a wig on and i don't i don't, I don't know so we're gonna see i don't know but yeah that's it so now the fifth item i have from timu is this waist trainer this waist trainer is the most cheapest waist trainer i've ever felt and laid my eyes on in my life and the reason why i say that is because they gassed me inside the picture it had all of these gadgets and stuff like how it like wraps it has like four straps where it wraps around your waist and stuff but the quality of it is really thin it's not really stretchy i already see like threads coming out of the seam so i already know it's gonna pop i got a size large i think and, oh i got a size small which i played myself i should have got a medium because when i tried it on i felt like a pig in a blanket and i felt like i was gonna bust out of it like a can of biscuits so i don't know why i got a small so i already know this is gonna rip i'm not gonna get a lot of wears out of these it is kind of cheap i wouldn't recommend buying it the you could forget about it with the zipper the zipper is going to give up on you i'm telling you as soon as you zip it up so if you got a little mom pooch you trying to flatten while you're getting on your treadmill or something i'm gonna tell you don't get this waist trainer because you gonna be sorry it's gonna bust like a can of biscuits and you're gonna be tight so don't get that i've actually gotten some waist trainers from like discount stores that's much better quality than that so i was surprised about that but i wasn't too mad because it was not expensive of course and i did get some things that i did like the next thing on my list is this denim denim frayed bucket hat i saw it online and it just looked cute and i have this oversized jean jacket that i thought was the same wash but it's a little lighter i wanted to get it and it actually smells like they washed it so i was happy about that it didn't have any or warehouse smell it smelled like it was bleached or washed or whatever the case may be i don't know but it doesn't stink and i didn't see if it fits my head like how it fits my head without my wig or with my wig i am going to try it on and see how it looks but i actually got it to go with my oversized jean jacket so i'm not sure how it's gonna look if it's gonna look silly or not we're gonna see not sure so that's that on that moving on to the next item this purse that i saw and the reason why i got this well of course it's a dupe it's like a silver like a galaxy silver not too shiny but it's a silver um dupe purse 
that I got. And the reason why I got it is because it matches exactly with a skirt that I got. I don't know if I should tell y'all I got this skirt from because y'all gonna judge me. But, um, yeah, nah, I'm not gonna even do that right now. Maybe later. I got this bag. It goes with it. I'm not sure if I'm too crazy about um, the strap that's on it. I'm not I'm not really feeling it. The strap doesn't need to be there because of how ropey the bag already is. So I think I'm gonna just untie it and take that off and not even like use it. I don't I don't think I need it at all. So you do have to like put stuff in it so it kind of like looks puffy and it looks like it has, you know, some body and volume in it so that's about it i wasn't too like excited about this purchase it was like oh it's cute i need it for my skirt i wasn't too crazy about it when i got it and per and looked at it in person it's not terrible it's not as it's not cheap looking or anything it's just not what i expected as far as like the ropes on the bag like the placement i'm not sure like how to feel about it but it's not terrible I, I think i will wear it and last but not least on the list i don't know how many items that was but that was it was this cotton white detailed cut tank sleeveless shirt i don't know how to feel about this because one is see-through uh, I don't know if I'm gonna like it. I didn't try it on yet. So it kind of defeats the purpose. It is kind of cropped. And I'm not a crop shirt girl anymore. I used to be, but uh, since I had my daughter, and meh, I cannot wear crop shirts anymore the way I used to, unless I wear high waisted pants. But it's cotton, it doesn't stretch, it's not stretchy at all, and I can see myself getting makeup on this really quick and it just being destroyed and having to throw it out. I only think that you could get one wear out of this shirt. This is not a shirt that you would just like keep wearing over and over and over. The quality is not good. This is the type of shirt that you would have to buy and they would have to sell it in like a pack of three or something like that because you know it's just gonna get ruined and you're gonna have to throw it away anyway that is not a shirt that you can just keep wearing but yeah so that concludes the end of the things that i have that was it i didn't buy too much because i didn't want to be like you know upset about spending a bunch of money on stuff and i hated what it looked like i will say that i am more so surprised than upset about my purchase things i wasn't too excited about but i will say my best purchases were the trench coats which makes sense because those were the items i was most worried about i thought that everything else was going to look good and fit good and those two items which i really like was interested the most was going to look like flimsy and cheap and low quality but it actually ended up being the best purchases out of the bunch but yeah that's it i i wouldn't say that i'm gonna just keep buying like clothes off of timu because that's when you mess up when you start getting too excited and you just start um putting stuff in the car and you gotta really look careful and that's what i did i was being very careful when i was looking i was looking at the reviews and i was looking at if there's possible pictures i do notice on timu there's not a lot of pictures which is a little spooky because i need to see i need to see what things look like um and then the quality of it of the pictures that people send is just like it looks real janky like i don't know if it's a real person or not so that makes it really hard to like purchase stuff from people i don't know um i will say just pray and step out on a leap of faith when you buy from there i don't know i wouldn't say buy everything i will say take everything that i'm saying with a grain of salt and just be careful when you're searching and you're looking like i said i will try to get the exact links for those two trench coats if you're into trench coats and you want a leather trench and you want a regular trench it's full hello you got to get the looks in and it's not expensive and it's not like it wasn't like 20 or 15 dollars if it was like 15 dollars i'm like all right now come on like we're not doing that all right shan y'all be bugging and i'm not i'm not i'm not gonna sit here and talk about shan because i found some cute stuff on shan 
surprisingly i think i should do a video on shein too one day who knows but for right now we on team right now so we not even gonna go there but i'm not sure what my next content video is gonna be like i'm just like rolling with the punches i'm like going with the vibes i don't know what i want to do some days you know and recording is not easy so i'm just trying to figure out the best way how to get these videos done not sure how i'm gonna do it but i'm gonna do it and again thank you for watching i hope that you got some insight on some things about timu i hope that it maybe inspires you to actually take a look at timu if you wasn't sure and you were scared because i was scared at some point i seen people to my oh timu timu i'd be on tiktok and i see people buying a bunch of stuff from timu i'm like uh i don't know I just don't, I don't know about it. Like if you want to get like an affordable item really quick, that's a good website. I'm not saying that Timu is never going to piss you off and they're not going to play themselves. But what I am saying is that they do have some good items. You will have some luck on there. That's all I'm saying. That concludes my video for today. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you for watching if you made it to the end. Bye.